I'll message you super when I'm ready, so you'll know. All right. Give me, give me one sec. Oh, okay. Uh, welcome everyone to the 64 League Rankings 23-15. I'm with uh, Jamjar finally. He finally figured out how to use a computer. Congrats to him. And Dark Horse is back here too, so always great to have Dark around and accompany me yeah. as uh, Robert returns and low for the third time. But right now he's currently eating, so I don't know if we're going to hear much from him until he's done chewing his food. Um, anyone, uh, initial reactions to this list, this rating so far? In fact, uh, we actually have the person who has been organizing all of this, Jamjar. So Jamjar, go ahead and, and tell me what you thought about this tier and how it matched up with how you had it in mind. All right. Um, so, thoughts, uh... There's a lot of Japanese players on this uh, this part of it. Uh, I knew that was going to be full. We're probably going to talk about it a lot. They're going to take some issues with it. I mean, here you can hear any of the Japanese talk about a lot. players attended more than one event in North America. I mean, as far as uh, where I rated them up here, I think I had a D a little bit higher than he was. I had Kiyaki uh, a little higher. Kiro I actually had lower. Uh, other than that, though, I think I was... I had most of these people in this tier. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's fair. Uh, there was a lot of... A lot of... Dissenting opinions towards uh, the Japanese. And not that none of us think that the Japanese aren't good. They, that they're not deserving of their spots. Just that... There's a lot of controversy with how the Japanese should be rated. Like, like for example, Gyaki and Taimai and Io only have one tournament, yet they are still on this ballot, which is uh, pretty interesting. On a, on a state. And from another state. So it's just like you know, it's, a lot of people have the mindset that you know this should be NA rankings, not NA yeah. and Japan. Rankings. So I mean that that was that was a discussion that we had uh, for a while, um, trying to, to see how we would want to change it up compared to last year. I had had that I threw out there um, was to require a certain amount of tournaments the course of this year and last year, so that for instance would not have been um, eligible, but Wangara would have because he attended events last year and this year. Huh. Yeah, um, go ahead and, while well, we're on the topic, because we do have here, go ahead and tell me about your process of, like, this whole ranking system. I remember you tweeting out, like, like oh, it's, this ranking system thing was making me really loopy, so go ahead and tell me uh, how it's been so far getting this all together. Um, well, so... I didn't really start working on it too hard until the like, say about sometime in October. Um, that was when uh, the Jim Jim said he wasn't going to be a part of uh, the community anymore, and he also then told me in private that that also meant he wasn't going to be part of the ranking. So I know I needed to. Um, I talked to Shears a lot about it, and a few other people in the uh, Illuminati group, just for some advice on how to go about doing things, how to like pull data more efficiently. Because I know I was going to have to do pretty much all of that kind of work on my own. Um, so Shears, he built a tool that would allow me to .gg, unfortunately, being able to have a lacking certificate. I don't, I don't know, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Able to pull all of the information, which really sucked. And then, I mean, once once it was all pulled and made into a brand via the ballot, that was fine. It was pretty easy, honestly, kind of paring it down for the about initial. I think I had like 160 names. 20 was pretty easy, but that last that last 20 was like just so so hard. I and I I, I mean I questioned the people I ended up putting out honestly, but they, I don't know if how much better I could have done as far as the ballot goes. Um, and then, you know, I was pretty excited. People were pretty excited about getting the ballots. They were, there was a lot of good discussion on the Facebook group I made to allow voters to talk to each other. 
back on the process. Uh, yeah, I was kind of sad it died down kind of quickly. Um, people, you know, they stopped talking about it. And then as I kind of feared, I guess people forgot about it or they were just like, oh, wait till the last minute. Sixty-four. I was getting out. Yeah, the, the sixty-four yeah. community is notorious for this, okay? It, with everyone. Everyone like, yeah. talks big and then we're like, yeah, we're going to create lots of content and we're going to do all these things. And then, as she just put it, people want their asses wiped all the time, mm -hmm. you know? They, they want yeah. they want things for the community without actually doing it. Now, I know that for me personally, I, I did this because I, I thought it would be a good thing to do. And I thought, you know, hey, could would be good content. It was a good thing. But mm -hmm. for the most part, outside of this, I usually try and step back away from that because I don't feel like my skills are in that. And that's fine. It's not like every person out there needs to contribute uh -oh. no, content I agree. and do things for the community. But it just helps if there's a if there's a certain dedication. And it would be nice if it wasn't just just one central group doing everything behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so I, I did get as many ballots back as I would have hoped. I actually ended up getting back about the same number as last year. I was kind of scared I was only going to get maybe like 15, but I ended up getting nearly 30, which is hoping. And, uh... How many did you send out? Last year. But, uh, you know, sorry, what was that? How many did you send out? I sent out... Oh, let me pull up the list of... So I sent out... 52? Yeah. So um, that's a little over 50% sent them back. So more than 50% came back. That's pathetic. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine, stuff. I guess. Yeah, you called yeah. me in for emergency because I was like, wow, I heard you got flankers and I was willing to do it. It's just. Yeah. Uh, I think two emergency ballots to you and a Yobo at the end. Um, I actually don't think I ended up. It didn't end up needing to send them out, but I mean, more, the more people voting, the better. Yeah. yeah people... Unless it's Yobo. <laughs> Unless it's Yobo. <laughs> I love his write-ups, though. He can, oh, he can... His, his write-ups are... They're, they're hysterical. I get him to do more next year. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, let, let's move on from this, and let's mm -hmm. talk more about the players that are on this list. Let's start off with uh, number 24, which is Revan. Uh, Revan's win losses, let me see right here. His wins are Court, Fire Blaster, and Isaiah. And his losses are Janko, Shalaka, Zero twice, and Z. Yeah, Revan from last Didn't year. Didn't Revan beat Zero also? I might have, but I don't see it on here, so. Uh, I thought he did. Oh, uh, was, you know, is it like Low Tier City, I think he beat Zero? Am I yeah. wrong? Let me look. Where is that stupid? I'm pretty sure they That's both it. went. Okay, that, you know what? The one where Revan they was traded Lutzer sets. City, uh, Revan... Yeah. They traded sets at Lutzer City. Hey, he doesn't have it listed as a win, does he? No, it's just oversight. But yeah, um, yeah, that's a big win for him. Yeah, that's a big win, but Revan had kind of a... Compared to last year, where he got like top 8 at uh, SmashCon and whatnot, Revan didn't really have much of a year. In my opinion, I mean, he had a he had a solid year for him for like the standard of everyone else, but like for Revan's standard, because Revan was rated like I think he was in like the 15s, the teens, I believe, if I'm not wrong. I have to look that up, but yeah, he just kind of I don't know. Well, I mean, him not going to SmashCon that kind of hurt. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I feel like he needed he needed uh, some more wins after that. Let's go. Yeah, I agree. And now he's playing like Donkey Kong, and so who knows what's gonna gonna happen. With him. Let's see. Yeah, he went down nine spots. So that's a from from fifteenth to twenty four. That's uh, it's a huge huge loss. And honestly, I wouldn't. I want to completely check. Oh, we lost Jam Jar for some reason. Yeah, he's you gotta move him back into the. Yeah, I don't know. We how lost to... Jam Jar somehow. Ah, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. It's fine. So yeah, um, I don't really account his Revan loss or not not his Revan loss. His Janko loss is why he's this placement. 
I think just overall he didn't have as hot as the year as he did last year. And it, mm -hmm. it just, well, I mean, he lost to Janko and Shalaka. Yeah. Yeah, his let's go was oof. Rough. rough. Very rough. 25th. I remember Shears being like, yeah, Ribbon's out at 25th. Yeah. Um, I see that you guys didn't count that Beast tournament despite counting uh, the, the win over Isaiah. Uh, yeah, I, I like missed that discussion. I don't remember why it was decided that Beast wouldn't be counted. Um, so, so I mean, uh, this is something I think I talked about a little bit in your previous uh, discussions. I was in the chat a little bit. Um, being a final uh, kind of ruling we discussion group was that we're going to use events. People are going to look at events anyway that are pushing to the game as long as global level for deciding people's skill, you know, for rating them. Right. All right, I think that's that's relatively fair, but um Dark Horse, any thoughts on Revan in his year? He just he didn't have enough results. Like I do I think he could have risen above like these Japanese players if he had gone to another event. Yeah. Um because then his his losses at Let's Go wouldn't have hurt him so much, and he could have picked up maybe a couple more wins. Um, but given his his limited results and some of and those losses, uh, he's his spot kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah, he needed to grab some wins in his tier, which it looking at his results other than zero, which is a big win. But that's not a lot of these other people either are Japanese or have more, so it's like <laughs> you gotta. You gotta you gotta pick up some more wins within the within the group if you want to move up in the group. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And like, you know, we weren't supposed to look at Beast or whatever. And like, yeah, he beat Isaiah, but it was Isaiah's link. So it's like I don't know. Like, I'm I'm honestly surprised uh, without yeah. going too much on a tangent to see Isaiah not in this tier. So I guess that's the Isaiah effect. Yeah, I mean, people rate Isaiah high because. His name is Isaiah. Like, no, no one actually cares who he uses <laughs> to. Well, let's see. He's all right, so he's not in this tier, so he's above Heo, who he beat. So, okay, that makes sense. Um, I mean, he lost to what Revenant Bark. Yeah, he dropped the one set and, to Revenant. Yaki. You know what? I'm not, not convinced that. Tier. I'm not convinced that him and Gyaki actually tier. played. And Taimai, who's also in this tier. So, yeah, yeah, he lost. <laughs> that's yeah, like his losses five out to, of the uh, ten people in here. He's lost to. His losses to um, Taimai and, and Yukun at uh, at Genesis. I feel weird about them because dude, just it was like Smash Kind. Like he didn't want to play anymore, and like I don't know why he doesn't just drop out when he doesn't want to play instead of just like. Well, not when, trying. when all the tournaments you go to, you just give up and lose. <laughs> yeah, you can't just Except pretend. For... Can't just pretend he didn't do that when it comes time to rank him. <laughs> yeah, it's we'll, we'll get to Isaiah because he's gonna be on the next tier. Even though personally, I don't, I don't feel maybe, maybe, maybe he's not ranked. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of funny, honestly. So let's move on to more country. I think this tier of most of all is probably the most controversial. Just yeah. of the names yeah. like this, like uh, Yukun. Who's again only placement is Genesis fourth at ninth. Um, let me go over his wins real quick. So his wins are Isaiah and Shears. He also beat Kyle Tree, who was on the rankings last year. Yeah, and uh, his losses are Caro and Boomfan. I I don't I don't agree because like if we're gonna talk about Isaiah in this instance too, I'm pretty sure Isaiah was sandbagging i'm not gonna call it like that he was just not playing a high tier <laughs> it's like robert says like the character you play is what happens but i just don't think that isaiah win is like that strong enough to warrant being 23rd and like even then revan has a win over isaiah too so it's like his only notable win is is shears really and yes he had a good placement at uh genesis 4 at ninth but what else his losses there? his losses weren't as bad as revan's is basically yeah the, not the even only close. other factor <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he, he had the same win, and his losses weren't terrible. Yeah, he, he, he also Revan beat Court, but you also beat Court at UF Smash, <laughs> which was probably not countered. I, it seems somewhat ambiguous as to whether or not that was counted. Yeah, I don't know. Was that counted? Because I. It wasn't in the ballot, but I think nobody was... really seems to know. Yeah, I just, I, just I don't, don't, I don't know how someone's supposed to count that though. Yeah, like, how does that even? How do you compare the results for something like that? I mean, I that know. was at least on U version. There were people yeah. that thought you were counting J version. <laughs> no, oh, I hope no. not. Anyway. I was told to count J version when I did my ballot or like J tournaments. So maybe that it's it why Yukun's here, but. It's just like, I don't understand. Like, he beat Isaiah and Shears. I guess Shears is worthwhile enough to be uh, 23rd on the rankings. And, I mean, I guess. And being Japanese. So. This is the thing. Like, if it would have been just like a regular player that we've seen before in NA, and they had these same results, he wouldn't be getting ranked this high. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. It's just because he's a Japanese player. Like, let's, let's be real. Not saying that he can't get this rank or even higher than this if he keeps coming, but. I, I can see it's like clear. It's clear just because he's from. Yeah, I mean, it's well, take, I mean, take the bono bono from last year. I mean, one yeah, thing I mean, about I it had, is I had you can I had you and time I in like the very very high twenties on mine, like around the court. Like that's where like I had court like low thirties. Like that's where I had these guys. Yeah, the I had you ranking this guy is yeah, twenty seven. He, he just doesn't have matches against other people like in the two. Like in the nearest tiers, he just doesn't have matches. Like uh, one loss to Kira, who who is uh, who is at the very top of this one. I don't That's like his only result here. So the, uh, you can't really say who within this group he should be above or below because yeah. he just doesn't have the data. I'm not gonna say this is proponent of Jam Jar himself, but it really is a thing that I feel like there's a lot of hype like a hype factor involved here it's like oh he's a japanese player so he's he's you know he's gonna be higher i don't think jam jar intended that because i'm sure a lot of people when they did their ballots thought that because you know i think the japanese are great they're obviously probably better than most of na if not all but it's it's the na rankings i would believe for na tournaments so why are they here it's, it's just i don't know I mean, good job to you. I, that's all I have to say about it, really. Anyone I mean, else? when you're a Japanese player and you beat Isaiah, it looks better than like someone like Bark who beat Isaiah. It's the same win, but people are going to give the Japanese player like more, like I don't know. I guess the benefit of the doubt that it was like a more legit win when it's really not. Like I, I saw them, I saw the sets that Isaiah played versus you and Taimai, and it's just like. I have no doubt in my mind if Isaiah went like a high tier, he would have won. Yeah. But that's up to discussion, I guess. Yeah. Now let's move on to something less controversial. I, I think this is a very deserved spot. Joshi at 22, who has wins over Low, Brody, and his only losses are Dectors and Z. He also, um, I think it was in the bio, he also took a game off Boom. Yeah, and I hit uh, them. Uh, yeah, but that's completely irrelevant for this yeah. discussion. Yeah, sure. It's real? Okay. Well, yeah, because that's yeah, not. Yeah, because Hitson wasn't, wasn't, counted, wasn't right? even in the ballot, so. Yeah, Hitson was was too late. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I mean, we could talk about it, but it's not. It it doesn't have anything to do with his placement right here. Twenty two has nothing to do with that. So, do you think his placement is because that went over Bark? And it, like his, it's like his only losses being Dexter, Dexter and Z, like having no bad losses. Mm, I think it could be that. He also had a really close set with Z. I don't know if people factored that in. They might have, because I was. It's at yeah. the, in the back of your head, you might factor certain things like that. Yeah, you might say. I mean, when you have so, when you have so little data, I mean, I think that people have to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Joshi's obviously an excellent player that's anyway. it but that's kind of one of the reasons why I, I i don't really agree with just having like one tournament I, allow you to qual like auto qualify but I, I i'm interested i'm interested to hear jam jar's thoughts on that yeah go ahead jam jar my thoughts on what joshi no like why is he on to, the ranking you don't have to talk about it but if you do like why do you think it's all right <sighs> to have like a uh, a person that's only attended one tournament qualify like I said, I mean, 
I I was pushing to have have it be that you have to have a certain amount between the years. Obviously, only look at for the the for ranking the player. I mean, decision anymore. I mean, I, I don't know. It it is. I I know it's it's weird and it felt weird last year and it kind of feels weird this year to do it. I, I really don't know. Oh, okay. I mean. That's who fair. is who is in favor of doing it that way? I've I've actually not talked to a single person or heard the perspective of a single person that was in favor of doing it that way. It seems like all five of us obviously weren't. I think that the the whole top sixteen at Smash Con or Genesis thing, it should have been top eight. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah, I agree. yeah, I can see that because in that case then wario wouldn't have qualified you know what i mean right and so the the biggest argument for well how did how did yashi qualify top, uh, oh he got, he got top eight at let's go yeah why is that even top eight let's okay. go and Snosa got you in that doesn't seem like to me that doesn't seem like just that one top eight at let's go should get you in. I yeah, mean, it, it was a either. decent top eight but it was like that's not there wasn't the tournament was not so stacked that playing it That's, just that event is going to... Yeah, like the top 8 was really stacked, but the top 16 wasn't. Yeah, so you That's might... So you end up exactly eight. like with Yashi, where he has like... He got one win. I mean, he beat low, which is impressive, but at this tier, it's like he had one big win, and then he lost there. It's like, that doesn't... It doesn't give you enough data points to really pin down where he's at. With the I, uh, tournament that you think Joshi, Joshi is I mean, if you also think a little more about it, like, just think about if Janko would have beat Fire Blaster, then he would have qualified by just beating Revan yeah. and Fire Blaster. I, uh... it, obviously, he went to Gommel, too, but it's like, yeah, top eight to qualify at Let's Go, that's, I don't really agree with that. Yeah, I, I think mean, that'll... I, I actually auto-qualified. Like, I could I mean, only have gone to SmashCon and I would have qualified. Yeah, I'm sure, but... like, people are going to consider this next year and uh, yeah. work on that system. It... Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna have to revisit for sure. That's good to hear. Uh, Lo, before we move on, I, I remember you talk about Joshi. So, go ahead and tell me what you think of him as a player. Like when you first sat down to play him and you didn't know anything about him, and then the outcome of the match. Well, I knew he was good because I've seen him play before. Um, I didn't expect him to beat me that bad. <laughs> he like almost like four or five stocked me. Pretty sure he did like four stock me one game. Um, obviously he's an exceptional player. Uh, he, he beat zero at hit stun, even though it's not counted on the ballot. Uh, versus him, it just felt like he was very strong off of the hit. Uh, his edge guarding wasn't really there, but it, his punish overall was just really, really great. So he would just like get you, and then it's just like, oh, stock, he hit you, and it's the stock, pretty much. It's like he, he wouldn't drop, like, all right, so with Pika, for example, like, say you get a forward air on Falcon, I was going Falcon versus him. He was very good at converting like forward air or like nair into up air as he's hitting the ground and then he would confirm the grab off of that like almost every time. It's good to hear. It's a good thing to have. Yeah, no, Joshi, strong player. Uh, I think we, is he going to Genesis 5 or no? No. No? I, I thought he was going. I was like, I had it like set in my head like that, that he was coming. And then he said he wasn't, and I was like, oh yeah, I didn't seed you, like... <laughs> of course you're not coming. Yeah, um, I was about to say, you know, who knows, I wanted to see him at Genesis, but if he's not going... He said he felt like he wasn't he just... ready. Wasn't So ready. does anyone know, does anyone know, like, when Joshi moved to, to California? Uh, I feel like it was early last year. So he's been in Peru, like, all that time before he moved to California? I have no idea. Um, that's what that's yeah that's what I'm wondering. That's uh that's really. He was supposed to go to G4. He registered. That's really interesting what you said, Dark, about him saying he wasn't ready. So he's obviously, who knows? He might come back even stronger. If I'm thinking about that, like he's. he's... Like it's funny he's him saying he's not ready because if he went, he'd be like a pretty strong contender for top six. But. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I, I don't know him personally, so I have no no beat on like his mentality. But to hear him say that's that, that's crazy to hear. Yeah, that's crazy to hear because of how well he recently did. He, I mean, he must be really critical of himself, I guess. So. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of those guys are. 
like for so just like a little side story for a character cruise i was trying to like you know set those up and make them like relatively even and i asked alvin if he wanted to be on the mario team and he was like i don't know my mario is not very good i'm like dude you beat wizro <laughs> mario <laughs> alvin's mario is so good are you kidding me yeah so like the, a lot of these guys can be pretty critical of themselves my goodness all right well i hope to see him see him tear things up let's move on this is some more controversy if everybody's going to be happy about oh, that. We have Tai Mai at 20 yeah, that was an honest one. Uh, his wins are Jaime and Isaiah. His losses are Kira and Dexter. Hmm. Hmm. This Isaiah fellow. He's, he's... Yep. Again, I had Tai Mai in the high, high 20s. He was... I had him rated the same as D-Tan, Yukun, and like Lord Narwhal. I think that's unfair than what he's Do you ever. think Lord Narwhal could be Timeline? Uh, yeah. I mean, Timeline is a fox, right? Narwhal's pretty good at that I think Narwhal's pretty good. I, I would like to see that match. I don't know who would win. Maybe yeah. we can get him back. I, yeah, I had, I had Narwhal like a tiny, tiny bit below those guys, but again, I had them all grouped very closely together. I mean, he beat Jaime. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty good. He is pretty good. I mean, he's a great win, and I don't like. I don't doubt time my skill as a player. Do you guys know who uh, Jaime went versus him? Uh, I feel like that I was after know. Jaime switched to Pika. Really, I'd be really shocked if he actually lost his Pikachu, because Jaime is pretty good versus Fox as Pikachu. Oh, actually, yeah. Hold on, I had it, like backwards in my head. I'm not sure. Uh, you might be able to look that match up. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up right now. Actually, I'm curious. It's I. It's... Uh, Why does it only list him as Fox? Didn't he also go Ness? Yeah, I think he went Ness. Yeah, because he showed that was like little... exhibition though. Oh, that wasn't yeah. that wasn't at, like tournament side. I don't think. Been. I mean, he's obviously a strong player, but it's just always like I feel like there needs to be a big fat asterisk next to all the, the Japanese players <laughs> that aren't like Kuraba or Fukuru. Yeah, see, one of, one of the issues that people have with not including the Japanese players is that when like. Your average person goes and looks at the rankings. And they're like, "Where's this guy? Like, he got fourth right. in this tournament. Yeah. Like, that that's that's like the only argument for including them." Um, but, then, but like the rankings still don't have like Gerson. <laughs> right. Well, he attended which is the, zero. Which is the, which is He's the never been thing. here. Yeah. I mean, like, he that's won. the thing. Not really he like an NA ranking, like either. Well, though. see, that's the problem is people keep calling them NA rankings, and they're not. They're rankings of people that attended NA tournaments. Yeah, but it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like a weird mix between like world rankings and NA rankings. Is how right. I feel. It is. It's a mix between those. All right, so I don't have much else to say about Jaime. I, I mean, I think I think he's a great player. It's so Jaime person. went Kirby I, I, apparently versus uh, Jaime, and then he went Falcon. <laughs> what a weirdo! I don't understand Jaime. Sometimes. I, I don't understand any of those picks either. <laughs> Jaime land. Yeah, dude. Uh, Jaime though, I don't know if you guys watched Japan Smash Cup uh, Christmas 2016, but this dude was one hit away, one hit facing the wrong way away from beating Wario, which at the time would have been this massive win. Because yeah. Wario was still like kind of untouchable in all of our eyes, and he did go on to win the tournament. Yeah, I remember that actually. But I, it was so crazy. I still... Yeah, I was really sad yeah. when that happened actually. Because I was like, oh, our one was shot... That, was that in a best of, something. best of one? Uh, yeah. I think it was, was in the best of one. That was in so pools. Kind of like, kinda like, uh... <laughs> right. But like, I mean, that's that's how they play, and he almost he almost took that. Uh, he was just he like freaking forward smashed an edge guard and was facing the wrong way. Like, <laughs> I it was so that. sad. I remember that. But um, not going too much off topic. I still believe Wario is top talent. I believe that Smash Con really was like not an indicator of him. I don't know. He, he, I remember someone saying, or I think it was you saying he was like really sick at SmashCon. So I think yeah, he'll, he'll be. Yeah, I think here. people were saying he was sick. I still believe. I still have the faith. I think Dexter does too, but we'll get to him. He's, I'm sure he's going to pop up uh, tomorrow. So let's move on to more controversy. Hio at 20. Um, 
All I have to say about Heo is that his reaction to D-Tan taunting him is the funniest thing ever. Dang. Yeah, that was a fantastic thing. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> he actually... Oh my god, I have this picture liked. I, I have to... I have to show this. I need to find this. I have it on Twitter. Heo just seems like such a funny dude. So, let me see. It's in my likes. He likes... Dude, Heo, Heo is really good. I mean, I feel like a lot of us didn't know about him until we watched, like, like Japan Smash Cup, like, the, some of those Japanese tournaments. Um, but this guy was just nuts, some of the stuff he was doing. Um, and then, I mean, he really beat people down. It's Snosa. Who did he... He lost to Isaiah's Fox and Mariguas. That's it. That's it. Yeah. No, he beat, goes, D he beat Hero, Hero Pie. He beat Hero Pie, D Tan, and Kimmy Maru. So like he beat everyone that that got thrown at him besides Mariguas and Isaiah. And Isaiah did go Fox, like it was you know, a quote real set. Um it was very close <laughs> though. Oh my goodness. Like it was the like, guy game five, like down to the wire. That was a really fun set to watch. That might have been the most fun set to watch uh, at that tournament. He seemed really, really good. Yeah, he is. And that was like, it, it was taking him some time to get used to the jump heights and everything in U version. So remember, that was, that was still like him getting used to things. I remember him perfect landing like almost always, like every time. If he, he was practicing kill. it a lot. All right, I'm trying to find that picture. Anyone else got anything else to say about you? I will find this picture. It's like the funniest thing. When He's really good, but I had him ranked lower because not enough results. <laughs> I, <found it. laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I, I felt like his win was more legit. So I put him a little higher than the other Japanese. Oh, I put players. him higher than the other guys, yeah. Yeah, I, I put him at 21. Uh, Ty and I, I had at... Uh, 23 and Yukun had at 27. Oh, okay. See, I had, I had time on Yukun at like 27, 28. I had Hio at 25 and Gyaki at right above him. Oh, wow. Uh, window capture. Display? I'm looking for window capture. Okay. <clears throat> I just, I just have to show this. <laughs> I came back to Japan. Is killing me. Let's play again sometime, D10. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I, I love Hio. That was like the yeah, like, funniest. Uh, Hio and Gyaki were two of the most fun uh, guys to be with. <laughs> there's like. like no, nah, I was, I was going to say, like, yeah, like, Fuguru, like, Wingair, all those guys are great. But uh, Gyaki and D-Tan were just, or not Gyaki and D-Tan, Gyaki and Hio were just a lot of fun. Uh, those guys were crazy. Yeah, they seem like really fun people, but, um, let's get that out of the way now. Okay. Uh, there's also an edited version of him, like, behind bars with that same saying. I had it in likes, but I didn't know where to find it. But Hio, hilarious. That made my day when he did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we can move on to um sort of controversy if you want to look at it in a certain way, it's sort of not. We have number 19. And the other ranking. We LB, only did the one. The man, the online warrior, the online the online warrior, the Mr. I play at 5%, so it didn't matter. <laughs> like if now, you if you play LD uh, online, hold on. If you play LD online, and you win, you can, you'll just be like, oh yeah, I was only playing at like 5%, I must be- Yeah, he's like an anime character. <laughs> <laughs> he always says that, actually. It's really- He funny. loves to say, okay, next time I'll win by 3 stock. <laughs> Every time, if he loses, he'll say the same. So, I would like to point out, before we even get to anything about LD or the so person funny. after him, that LD and number 18 have the exact same rating. They have the same number written down for their rating. I mean, how close they are, like, rated by, 
Let me see it. Yeah, head to head's the tiebreaker. I'm sure there was. It went to the thousandth. Spain. I'm actually surprised it was this close. This man, though. This man. I remember. I was there when he beat Alvin. Shears was freaking out. He was yelling and just, he was so happy and was just like, yeah, and LD was just like, I remember if you go look at uh, LD's ego tweets, <laughs> immediately after, I had a good meal and I got good rest, the win was expected, and then like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, that was great, and then after he loses the one Garrett, after that, unfortunately, I yawn right when I sat down to play one Garrett. <laughs> I love I love LD. No, that that was LD. Like, man, I wish he had gone to Let's Go, but uh, that one with uh, that one against Alvin was so great. LD's personality and his character—we've talked about this before. Like, if we had sponsors, he'd be the most likely because his, his character and his attitude is just so marketable. Like the way he is in general. Like, people love watching LD. Even if, like, he is, he just does standard Fox Goblins. Like, like the normal people are like, oh my god, LD. He's so, so good. 19XX, XD. Is when I first went up to college, I would play, like, Melee and Smash 4 players. I mentioned I'd play 64. And I had people that, like, literally knew nothing else about 64 be like, oh, do you know LD? Have you seen... Like so, his fox combo? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I played him at that. So, so Robert, do you, do you know why, why why people like basically just only knew LD back then? Yeah, because he was on a VG boot camp, right? Ex yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was like the only weekly stream for 64, and like all these videos had LD just destroying everybody. <laughs> like, oh, now, 64, like, like LD, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, still it's... the video, the video with the most views on my channel is still LD winning a 2v1 and it has like 30,000 views or something. He's he's he's, he's a stand-up guy. His his personality is just hilarious cuz he's so serious in it. Like he we have this thing called mountain talk. Sometimes if we're like in a if you're in a voice chat with LD, you're not talking to LD. LD's talking to you and you like sometimes <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> That's such a perfect, such a perfect description of any conversation involving LD. You're like, hey LD, it's like, oh hey, what's up? And then like, gone. It's LD's uh, conversation just him, now. Him talking down to you. He's actually just talking to himself the entire time. <laughs> and he doesn't listen to a word that you say. I think if there was no one else in the room, he's just still doing it. It's like, <laughs> is a tree falling in the forest? Does If no one's in the chat room, does LD still... Talk about how he's the best to himself. I feel like probably yeah. Oh man, and then that heartbreaker, man, that heartbreaker of Bark beating um, LD, almost Fox and Top Eight, almost. I remember they hugged I mean, out. The real heartbreaker was LD not beating Wangara. Yeah. Yep. Because hey. LD for some reason forgot that like Shine existed when Wangara was shielding on the ledge. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he actually won game one, and then he just kind of won. Game he won game one because of a huge comeback. It was a three to one comeback. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. But yeah, LD. I hope he comes more things. He's kind of an enigma as far as like console. You can always find him online though. Like he he's always looking for a game to tell people about carrot juice and mountains and <laughs> it's just such a stand up guy. <laughs> I love LD. All right, so let, let's move on to number 18, Josh Brody, <clears throat> aka Bark Sanchez, who had so, had a great year. Bark had a great year this year. Um, Dark, I think you know him best, so I want you to lead off <laughs> on his year and tell me <laughs> more about him. I mean, what what do you want to know that you don't already know? I mean, I don't know. Think of something. <laughs> I, I mean, your brother. I, I, like, if someone was like, "Here's my brother." He belong, I mean, you want to talk about his results? Sure. Like, he belongs up here. He has a lot of good wins. Like, two of them are kind of meme wins with Isaiah at SmashCon and Alvin uh, down in Florida. 
but he beat Wizzy. Wizrobe, that's not a meme win. Yeah. No, that was not. That was that's legit. An amazing win. Like, yeah, okay, Wizrobe has beaten him like four times this year, but he still won a match, and he's not supposed to win that match. Um, like Wizzy's supposed to win that, so that those wins don't really move the needle that much for Wizzy, but for Josh, they're huge. Um, who else? Who else did he beat? He beat a lot of people. Um, he took that one set off Kiro when Kiro came back, and then Kiro avenged it at ESB. Um, he as he's he went one and two in sets with Detan this year. So that's kind of like, that's been a tough one for him. Um, him and LD have traded a lot of sets, but he got the better of them at SmashCon. Uh, wins over like Shalaka and Fyro are not surprising. Not he he wins those now. Hero um, Pie. Hero Pie, Fire Blaster. Like Low, those are people KD3. that he just, he regularly beats now. Yeah. Um, KD3 has taken sets off of him. Um, it just didn't happen at anything notable this year. Yeah, I feel like yeah, he uh, got a big win over him. Actually, I think it was at like a. It was at like some random PA thing, lish PA kind of thing. So it didn't get counted. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, I mean, I I took a set off of him at a regional also, but no one cares. Yeah. Yeah. Bark said it yeah. himself. He feels like he just got better by going to all these things. Like he is, he is the most trouble. He went to everything. Bark. When you look at the spreadsheet, which is ridiculous. Every event. Yeah. He's there's there's only, like across the board. I was trying to tally up his losses. Yeah. It's like every event. Yeah, because there's only one blank on the on the ballot, and yeah. it's Low Tier City Low-tier 5. City. Insane. Man's dead. But he, uh, he could not... I didn't realize he lost to Kiro twice at ESB. That makes sense. Um, He could not take Dexter, man. Remember at Smash and Splash, Dexter went Fox? That was a weird one. Yeah, he went like Falcon and stuff. Yeah, like at Smash Bros. he went Fox. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dexter beat him with he's Fox. Like, he, it was just one was, game, right? Though? I think that was like Dexter like trying to do some disrespectful stuff. Because Dexter can get like that at times. He can. Yeah, I remember Dexter kind of evading the question when we were asking why he did that. Dexter got salty when I sat down and beat him in a bunch of Falcon dittos. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I think he thinks this Falcon is better than it is. He just kept like getting all wide-eyed and looking at me like every combo, like <laughs> what? What? Dex- Dexter's Falcon's pretty good. Yeah, no, Dexter's really good. <laughs> His Falcon is like actually legit. Uh, I'm pretty sure he he beat. Well, he took games. He beat off Park with it. with it. So. Mm-hmm. But yeah, jo- I mean, Josh is up here because of a few of his wins, but a lot of the reason he's up here is just the magnitude of his <laughs> events like yeah. how he went to so many things and he picked up so many results and for the most part he just lost to like the same people every time so yeah, there wasn't was... a whole lot to like downgrade him on yeah. like um, he has a lot of losses but if you look at them they're pretty good losses they're, yeah, they're, they're yeah really, i mean if you go to like, every almost no bad losses in here you'd expect to see more to be honest right his worst losses are on the regional level every time yeah. Um, but yeah, a, a guy that goes to every single event and doesn't get first, yeah, they're gonna have a lot of losses. Um, but <laughs> when you're in like the top eight, top five, top three of all these events, those losses are gonna be good losses. They're you know Alvin Mariguez, Dexter, uh, boom, Zero, boom, boom, yeah, boom yeah. like five times. Look at like him. yeah, he lost to Giaki. At he got double those... eliminated by people so much. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, his losses to Detan and Gyaki are the worst for as far as like Those dangers worst, go. Yeah. Um, and then regionals, like he's drop sets to a bunch of people, like um, you know, like KD3 and myself and whoever. Yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, I don't know what his plans are. I feel like I don't know if this is true or not. I feel like Bark just likes people. He likes going to see everyone. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, Dark. You can tell me what his mentality is. Maybe. I mean, like yeah, this is like this is like what he does. <laughs> yeah, he seems like that type of person. He just likes the people. And you know, more power to him. He's a nice guy. I uh, I overestimated him when I first thought about it because I think it was back when he wasn't as good. But I think 
like he's just he's just gotten so much better since 2016 and I, we actually talked to him and you weren't here he actually says he might slow down because he doesn't know he's at the point right now at his career where he doesn't know how far he can get because at this point at the, like the 18th and then it gets really really hard to, to get up there like you know um he says he's happy where where he's at though where he might even go the the path of where you are you know just starting to slow down but he says he's content where he's made it <clears throat> so you know i mean he told me he's probably going to he's trying to go to kansai so i don't know how much slowing down he's doing yeah I, what i got from it was basically like if people start surpassing him like the people that are lower and he might slow down but as of right now i think he's still motivated to get better good for him good for him uh let's move on to more controversy Giaki at 17th now Giaki's <laughs> excellent in these he's so fun to watch his link is incredible his link is so good oh man um his wins are hero pie brody isaiah and his loss are only dexter and Marigos. Again, that, that that Isaiah win. Who? Yeah, like and he did he did take Dexter to game five. Um, so people might have looked at that also, since they didn't have much else to look at. Um, this, this portfolio yeah. is definitely a lot more impressive than that of the other Japanese players in this group. I agree. I mean, Dexter right, has a worse also. Dexter has a worse loss. Isn't that bad? Like Dexter, just almost everyone in this entire group has losses to Dexter. Like he just just beats these people and when you beat hero pie and bark and isaiah then it's like okay yeah the win over isaiah wasn't you know he also he beat hero pie twice yeah hero pie twice i mean hero pie is very strong I, he's not in the group but he's a very strong player in his own right plus bark plus isaiah then it's like you have a strong case yeah uh it's it's definitely not like a yeah and situation. i again the, the the like the win against isaiah i don't know if they actually played it was, never it was like a, it was like a, t no, I don't think so. It was a tiebreaker match because they did tiebreakers, and yeah, I, I don't know if they it's actually. Not on the it's not I don't on know the if... ballot at all, so I didn't even know about that. Yeah, yeah. it was supposed to be a tiebreaker yeah. match, and I don't know if they actually played. I think Isaiah was just like, uh, yeah, he won. Hmm. I mean, mm. I still had Giaki at, at eighteen, despite the the idea yeah, no, of I, not being on the I ballot. had him. Uh, I don't know if I had him quite this high no i had him at 23 but yeah he was he's he's very good yeah uh, his resume was just better because it's like he has a couple of people that are at the higher level not at the tippy top like him but more so than the the other japanese players is giaki the best link right now i'm pretty sure like in japan or in the world in the world maybe even yeah, I mean, he's he's like easily in the top three conversation for best in the world. Who are the other two? Isaiah, maybe. Uh, yeah, Isaiah, and then I don't even know. I didn't uh, want to exclude anyone. Sec sec <laughs> sec yeah, Sekiri? Yeah, Sekiri. 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 Okay, so if we're going to say like Isaiah is like a top three link, wouldn't his link for, I mean, his match... His set versus uh, Revan, where Revan won, wouldn't that count like for something? Yeah, I mean, in in my like in my mind, that does count for something. Like, Revan beating his Link, um, okay, that counts a lot more than like someone beating his like Samus or like other characters he doesn't play. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess um, it's Luigi. Well, nah, his Luigi's legit, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, no. yeah, I don't know how legit that is, to be honest. He force like stocked Wizard kinda... with it. Yeah, and then, but yeah, then he lost. like remembered how to play versus Luigi and just beat him afterwards. Yeah, so they're one and one. He, um, Giaki <laughs> also got like second at K Kansai and third at Kanto, so that's crazy. As yeah, I think. right. He's like so when good. their pools are are like one, you know, one and done. Um, his his run at the Japanese tournaments is awesome. Giaki is. Amazing. I hope to see him again. I would love to see Gia. I want to see Giaki and Hio back if we ever do. I really think. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, um, I think both Yoshi. of them. Both of them want to come Smash to SmashCon. 
Yes. So we'll see. I hope. I hope. But yeah. There, there's. A, I mean, there's a chance we get like six or seven Japanese people coming to SmashCon. Oh boy. That's crazy. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I guess the ones last year uh, went back and told everyone. <laughs> Well, there's yeah, that. You guys like, come to America. I mean, Kiaki and Hio and Fukuro all came to Snosa and they loved it, and yeah, they, exactly. they definitely wanted to come back. Um, and then, yeah, of course, the guys that went to SmashCon. I mean, Prince has been there twice. Wangara has been there twice. Um, I'm pretty so sure. What, what's, he... um, sorry to cut you off. What's the crowd like at SmashCon? Because I've never been. Oh, it's electrifying. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. It's awesome. yeah. Honestly, it's uh, electric is kind of the right word. Um, when the matches get up into like the top 24, um, there are all these people sitting and watching. And I honestly don't know what it's like during top eight. I'm always like behind the screen, but um, it sounds pretty big. Uh, one benefit, and it's funny that no one really complains about this, but SmashCon top eight is on Saturday. It's not on Sunday. And one of the benefits we get from that is it's not early in the morning and all the people are still in the venue. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I, I, I wish more tournaments would do that, to be honest. Yeah. Um, that almost happened at Genesis, um, but we felt like it wasn't fair to announce that after people paid all this money um, and then we're just like surprised it's only two days. Hmm. Yeah. Although SmashCon so, the last day uh, we had all those exhibitions, it was it might have been right. For um, me, I think it was probably the best day. Now the thing with Genesis is the like that Sunday, they're in a different venue, so you can't even yeah. you can't even do anything on Sunday. Wait, they uh, don't have they don't have the old venue. No, the regular venue is not open. What? Oh, it was a G three. Yeah, Genesis just gets worse every year. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a G three, but it, I don't think it was a G four, um, and it's not a G five. Okay. So like, so SmashCon. That's other than Genesis three. SmashCon is the best crowd. Yeah. And since you can't go back in time, oh, uh, it's SmashCon now. Yeah. I, I was in yeah. the crowd when Isaiah got that one combo. People were just raving mad at the at the <laughs> Luigi. The people were crying or not crying. Like, I think they were hugging and shit. I'm almost certain. Like Hungry Box did his. Oh my god. And I remember, yeah. just, I remember just sitting there with Umbro, and we were just kind of like, that was cool. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't freaking out. I it was crazy. honestly, like, like top eight can be like the combo contest sometimes. Which doesn't sound like a big deal, but the crowd goes insane during the combo contest. Yeah, it's it's crazy. You gotta go to SmashCon. I think it's 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 great. Yeah, but, yeah, I, I, really yeah. Want to. I don't think I'm gonna miss it this year. Don't. Okay, so let's move on. Not SmashCon talk. Let's move on to number sixteen, Treg the Z. Um, really interesting year for him. I think he told us he's gonna start slowing down on his on his tournaments. <laughs> I think. I yeah, think, he said that after Let's Go. I think, as knowing Zanyor for a while, he's extremely critical of himself, like to the level of like a lot of people here he's like he's not happy with himself despite uh being at such a tier like this he he feels like he can't get there perhaps and dude he was so close with marigua said kamal i know he's yeah just... that was weird because it's like i thought marigua understood the fox matchup when he played versus Isaiah, but then I saw him play versus Z, and he just kind of looked a little lost sometimes. Yeah. That's the thing, like, when you say, like, someone knows the matchup, that, that only carries them so far, because people are different. Yeah, that's like, true. Styles matter. Like Josh, like, Josh beating LD regularly, and then just losing to Dexter's Fox, that, that's a great example of that. Like... I mean, he Dexter only beat him one game, though, so it's... It was like... only one? Okay. My bad. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the whole set. I'm really and LD, okay. LD kind of just learned the LD matchup. I'm, yeah, yeah. LD, yeah, I don't really feel like you're playing versus Fox when you play versus LD. He just doesn't change anything. But yeah, Z <laughs> against Marigua said Gommel. That was a great set. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised that Z doesn't have Yoshi up here as one of his yeah, mains. Yeah, he should have Pika, Yoshi, and Falcon because I've seen him use all of those. I don't know why he just has Fox. I mean, I mean, you could just put the whole character select screen, select screen up if you really want. <laughs> I mean, I've seen his Yoshi more than his Fox, which is why it's surprising to me. Like, I feel like he busts out the Yoshi at every tournament. I think, I think in this tier, Z is the strongest with the twelve characters. I mean, I don't. Yes. Oh, absolutely. His twelve characters are incredible. 
And I think that's what propels him to keep at this because he's got such variety in his play. And I think what what he might be critical of himself is that he doesn't want to compensate for how he plays to get to the next level. So sometimes he'll do really risky Z things. But what's really cool and what people love him for is that they work. And it's only because he's Z. Like he'll do something crazy and it only works because it's Z. And people love that. So uh, that's all I really have to say about Z as far as that goes. His wins are Joshi, Zero, and Narwhal, and then his losses are Tacos, Shiman, Kiro, and Dexter. His Shiman loss, it's his own fault, but I don't think it's enough to propel him to low. Who's think... Shiman? What? How did that Wait, happen? Is Puff that was boss battle, 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 right? Yeah. Shiman beat his Puff. I'm pretty sure that Shiman was going Falcon, and he ended up beating him. Huh. Yeah, no. Z, great player. I, I, always great watch him. I appreciate his mentality sometimes, even if he doesn't appreciate himself. I think he thinks he holds himself back, and it's like just like there's there are times like if you watch Z at like a top eight, like I think like last year, he just kind of just shuts down. Like maybe he gets like back thrown by Pika too much, and he just kind of shuts down. Like Z's a type of player who plays strictly off momentum. And it, it's happened, like, with Marigos, too. Like, he just got the momentum with Fox, and he almost did it, but Marigos just took it from him. So he's definitely a momentum-type base player. It's always great watching him. Any other comments? Any of you? I don't have a lot to say. Not really. Um, I'm kind of, like, something I always wondered is why Z can never beat Tacos, when I feel like they're at such a, like, similar level. Might just be a, a style thing, I guess. I, I think it's because... I think they're very similar in how they accrue wins. They're very momentum-based players, and I think sometimes that Tacos has more fortitude at times, even if the, I think their mentality are... They, they're, they're type of people who are very critical of themselves, and I, I think I remember hearing that, like, uh, they have a little immaturity to them in some regards. Like, I remember uh, your brother, Dark, telling me about how Tacos, after they lost to team, I forget which team it was, at uh, Boss Battle 3, he yelled, and he was just so mad that he lost at that, that SD. And yeah. Like, just, you know, I think it's it's a bit of a, a growing thing. A lot of, a lot of aspects like that. Uh, so, I, I guess that's it for other people, as far as he goes, so I'll move on. To number 15, Kiro Kuropi, who pre 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 pretended to t retire and then was like, oh no, 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 I'm here. And what's funny about his retirement is that he's like, oh yeah, I'm done. Oh, by the way, I'll be a let's go. Oh, by the way, I'll be at this tournament too. But, I, but I'm not playing, I'm not playing, guys. And then he's like, oh, well, I guess I'm back now. Haha, -ha, funny. He never left. Yeah, it Kiro went from like, it was left. like this slow return where he like, he was like, I'll just come and commentate. I'll just come and play doubles. Okay, I'm playing singles. <laughs> you can only be around it for so long without wanting to play. If you're like yeah. a competitor, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. He, he still wants to be the best. Uh, his wins are Z, Taimai, and Bark. And his losses are Bark, B Tan, and Wizzy. So uh, not, a, not a bad resume at all. B Tan loss. Uh, I think, Lo, you probably know. Uh, him the most because you're good good buds so why don't you tell me how you feel about Kiro as a player and in general <laughs> uh Kiro's just a goofball um as far as a player I think he has a good mindset he always wants to <clears throat> he always wants to win he always goes for first place even if it's if it can be unrealistic at times um I, I see him moving up if he like starts shaping up more he did lose to Bark at boss battle but then he, he came back at ESV. He also lost to KD3 at a Nebs Monthly, but he also beat KD3 at ESV, so it's only up from here for Kiro, I think. Yeah. I, he is goofy. I didn't even take his like his lead serious, because he's just so goofy. Like His tweets are so dumb, too. He's like, yo, is anyone else attracted to Gloria from Madagascar? Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, like, <laughs> he's, just, he's just a character. Like. He also beat uh, Z at Boss Battle. So it's like, that's good. It was easy, Yoshi, but Such a goofy, still a good character. Kuro is the one guy when you guys were saying that 
LD would be the first to be sponsored. I feel like Kiro might. Oh yeah, no, he's, oh, Kiro. Like, Kiro. he's now. Definitely... Yeah, I mean, after this last year, Kiro, Kiro's a really good. Um, would be a really good option for a sponsor. Uh, as a commentator, as a player. Kiro made friends with all the melees, so he has social a good media. Job. Yeah, social he's, media. He's, Kiro's has one of the best uh, media presences out of anyone in the community. Mm -hmm. One of the worst, I think. But, yeah, yeah. His, his Twitter is such garbage, honestly. But people it's love so it. It's so funny. It's hilarious. Let, let's see. <laughs> let's see what's happening in the world of Kira. I'll, I'll look him up. See what he's been saying. He always has something <laughs> stupid to say. Me and Falcon for Genesis, and he's gonna win. I want to see at Genesis. I really hope we get Kira Wizrobe because yeah. I want to see if if Kira can like compete with the new Wizzy. Yeah, that'd be really interesting to see, but one of his sweets, Jane 14, honestly pissing me off so bad I don't have superpowers. Like, thanks, Kiro. We really, really, we really need to know that, you know? I really appreciate it. This is such a freaking goofball for sure. So, something interesting to note about Kiro, um, he always played, like, Pika Kirby, domain them. He would use Kirby for Falcon, and then he'd pretty much use uh, Pika for, like, everyone else. Uh, he's actually thinking about just going all Pikachu now. So, like, if you guys watched Boss Battle... Hold on, hold on. You're saying Kiro is thinking about going all Pika? Yeah. He's also apparently thinking about going all Falcon. I was gonna say, yeah. like, like a few minutes Falcon ago. <laughs> so this is the thing. He says he's gonna go all Falcon, but he's lying. Oh, yeah, I know there's no way he's gonna do there's it. There's no way he's going all Falcon. Like, he's told me about it, like... 14 minutes ago. I'm dead ass about to lock in Falcon at Genesis and win that shit. Yeah, LMFAO, right. I'm actually so fucking sick with the captain. He no, thinks no, that, he, but he's actually know, really no, scared to use Falcon. He, no, Kiro, Kiro does like really good Falcon things sometimes, and then he'll do like a stupid, like low mid level thing and die. That's his Falcon in a nutshell. He'll be like, he'll do something really sick and then do something really stupid and die. Like, I remember one time I was I was messaging him like. Uh, right before a set with tacos, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Falcon versus Pika, cause cause there's no way I can I can beat Falcon with Pika." So I'm like, "Okay, okay, sure. If that's what you want to do, whatever." So then the set happens, and he he pulls out the Falcon and just gets four stocked and then switches. <laughs> <off>. <laughs> Uh, he's goofball. definitely a character. He's a goofball. I'm, I'm glad we have him. He's uh, been learning, uh, just something I want to add real quick. He's been learning, like, different matchups. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's been grinding out the Pika Falcon one. Well, he was at least before. I don't know if he's still doing that. And that's why you saw him go Pikachu versus Boom's Falcon at, at boss battle. And he actually ended up taking a game with it. So, I, I think we'll see more of the Pika versus Falcon. But, you know, when people really want to win... There's always a chance that they might whip out that Kirby versus the Falcon. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go back here. Let's do a little bit of a wrap-up. Any comments on any of these players? Uh, let's move down the list. Let's start off with uh, Revan doing this thing where I talk about up, down, or unranked. So, Dark, Revan, up, down, or unranked? Um, he goes up because... <laughs> The requirements on Japanese players changes next year. <laughs> uh, Jamjer? Jamjer? Jamjer's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, hey. Up, down, or unranked on Revan for next year? Um, I think even if the requirements of Japanese don't get improved, I think he'd still go up. Okay. Low? Mm, I don't know. It depends what character he picks, because I know he's been thinking about going like all oh, DK. Oh, yeah. So in the case that he goes all DK, um, I'm oh, gonna yeah, see him now. go. I'm gonna see him go way down, because DK sucks. Way down. Yeah. Robert. I think. Uh, I don't know. I think there's a decent chance he he you know gets his gets his fighting spirit back. You know, he's always been a guy that never wants to hear that. That anyone's better than him, you know. There's that seeding thing with Lotus City. Like, whenever, when anyone, whenever there's a question of like, oh, you might be seated below like Wizard or Zero or something. Suddenly he was all about, you know, no, 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 I'm no, good. It wasn't I'm about good. that. It, it was about stranded. Those guys. Oh yeah, stranded. stranded. Yeah, 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 stranded. Which too, I think so. he, I think Revan had a fair point there. Like, there was no reason for stranded to be above 
him in that case. Yeah, well, he previously had a thing with Wizrobe too, because he had beaten him. Um, anyway, I think he has that that spirit of of wanting to be the best, and I think he'll come back and, and show a better performance next year. At, uh, actually, get more wins. That like this time he he didn't go to enough to get wins at this level, so I think next time he will, and, and he'll move up from that. Yeah, um, I know I know he's not on this list, but I feel like Handsome Tom is currently. I just I just bring him up because he's a, he's a Canadian. He's also a Kirby. I feel like if he comes to a t tournament in NA, because right now he's stationed in Japan, and who knows with him. So I'd be really interested to see him come back. He's he's learning under under senseis right now. But moving on uh, to actual Japan people, we have Yukun, uh, Dark, up down, unranked. unranked. Yeah, unranked for sure. He's not gonna go to anything. Jamjar? Yeah. Hello? I mean, if he's saying it himself, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. Robert? Yeah, I just don't know what it, like his financial situation and stuff is. Yeah, yeah me too. But no, uh, I, I think he's going to keep getting better, but uh, I don't know whether he'll he'll be on our rankings. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, uh, Joshi, Dark? Uh, up. Yeah, I agree. Jamjar? <clears throat> Jam Jar's dead again. Hello? God damn it. Who are, you, who are we talking about? You or Joshi? Joshi. God, I have the worst internet right now. Yeah, it's probably better if we just pretend like you're not here. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll say what I, what my prediction is. Uh, I think Joshi will probably be in the teens next, next year. You think so, if he goes to things? Yeah, because it's like, if you see, like, his potential, yeah. like, come on, he, he beat Zero, he took a game off, boom. He he could probably do, like, a lot more if he just keeps going to stuff. And he said, I don't think I'm ready, so he's, he's grinding really hard on something, so. Robert? Yeah, with that, so hit stun, is it going to be included in next yes. year's? That's the plan. Okay, so yeah, I think he'll... I think with the hit stun performance, if he just gets another performance like that one, which I'm sure he will, yeah, he's definitely going on. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, time A. Dark? Uh, unranked. Jam Jar? Low. I'm, just, I'm ignoring uh, you, Jam Jar. You're in I think he's going to be unranked. Unranked, unranked, unranked. Yeah, unranked. You have to say his name twice, and then he responds. <laughs> it's like a dog call. Jam Jar, Jam Jar, here, Jam Jar. <laughs> uh yeah unranked he's just not gonna go to anything heal dark unranked um let's see if he goes to smash con and the requirements are top eight at smash con i think Ooh, there's a chance i don't know i don't know yeah it's tough he's really good though <laughs> i know uh, if he gets a favorable bracket, I, I could see him making top eight of SmashCon. Um, so there's a chance he gets ranked, but that's a slim chance, so I'm going to say unranked. That's fair. Uh, Jam Jar? Jam Jar? Unranked. Unranked. Okay. Uh, low? No comment. Robert? <laughs> unranked. Okay. Uh, who's next after that? Let me look at my list. LD. LD. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say he goes down. Really? Wow. Yeah, because I don't think he'll go to enough things, and I don't think he'll get as as big a win as Alvin. That's fair. Jamjar? Will he will he even be ranked then if he doesn't go to enough things? Uh, it's a good call. I mean, I think we can convince to... him to go to. I think we Let's can convince go. him to go to LGB two, and then he'll go to SmashCon. So I think he'll go yeah, to enough things. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think if he goes to both, then he'll go up. Especially if the Japanese are off. Alright, low. Alright, I'm gonna make a bold claim and say LD goes up. Woo. Well, only because I think if he goes to Let's Go and we have like the same kinds of players, I think he can really do damage. Cause... Let's, Let's Go 2 is gonna be so much better, by the way. Because like, if you think <laughs> of the people that went to Let's Go, I feel like LD could have beaten everybody there. I really want to see LD versus Marie Gloss. I want to see how that turns out. 
I'd like to see that too. They've ever played? I don't think no. they've ever played. I don't think so either. But uh, it all depends what kind of tournament he goes to. Because if he goes, if he only goes to like, well, I know he's not going to go to Genesis because that's way too far. But I really hope he goes to Let's Go and um, Smash Con. Dude, forget Marigos. I really want to see LD Dexter. The re the salty the re rematch. Yeah, oh my, I would love that. I know Dexter really wants to play LD. So <laughs> Dexter wants it so bad. Dexter he wants it so bad. LD hates him. <laughs> he was telling me. All right, so he was telling me one time. He was like, "I know I'll never lose to LD ever again." He complains about <laughs> online. Complains about LD online so much. I would love to see that. Somebody uh, rate the bracket. Yes, please, please. <laughs> Collusion, please, 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 please. Dark Horse. Collusion, Dark Horse. Do yeah, it. I'm pretty good at that. Collusion horse. Collusion, Collusion horse. horse. Collusion horse. Uh, next up, your brother. Oh. Um, I don't think he'll go to nearly as many things. So I don't think he'll have as many opportunities to get all these crazy results. So I actually think he goes down a little bit. Same with LD. Ginger? Yeah, I agree. He might stagnate. He's going to stagnate this year. Low? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he's already like really really high And I don't see like him beating the people above him really like, right he beat Wizrobe. Yeah, but that's a That yeah. was like one out of like five times or something like that I, I think something major would have to change in his gameplay for him to move up So I see him either staying well, around where he's at or dropping down a little bit Maybe he'll get to play LD at every event Yeah, but people are just gonna chalk it up to him knowing that no, nah, 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 nah. so, yeah. Nah. Robert, I think uh, I think he'll maintain a spot. Okay, I I agree with Robert actually. I think he can still do it. I don't think yeah, it's possible he could go down like you know a little bit in the fluctuations just because of the way the votes work or or up like one or two spots, but I think roughly about the same. Yeah. Uh, Gyaki. He's so solid. Look at his losses. I mean. Yeah, he's solid. Kiaki, dark. Uh, unranked. Unfortunately. I'd yeah, love, unfortunately. I'd, I would love to see Gyaki be ranked. Yeah. Unra yeah. Unranked in the rankings, but not in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you agree, Jam Jar? Yeah, yeah, unranked. Low? No comment. Robert? Unranked. Okay. Uh, Trek the Z. Dark Horse? Um, I think he stays around where he is. Okay. I think he drops a little bit. Okay. Low? I think Z drops, because I, I feel like he's going to go, like, even more crazy characters, and I think people in the lower tier are going to start beating him. Okay. Robert? Yeah, I think he'll drop. Okay. I, I feel like... I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I want to see him get Next higher. time he'll lose the set to CTG and then it's... Like, yeah. think about it. He almost lost to CTG. He almost lost Ooh. to Frey. He lost to She-Man. He might not be as lucky this year. Like, next yeah. year CTG might hit that Nair instead of the rest. Freaking CTG. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kara Kurofi. Dark Horse? Um, goes up. Jam Jar? Up, definitely up. Low. I think he's gonna go up, but I don't think it's gonna be by a lot. I can see him moving up probably like three, three spots, four spots, something like that. I don't think he'll be in the top ten. Okay, Robert. Uh, probably about the same. I agree with Low. I think he'll move up a little bit, but not too much bit. I think he's still. He's still not at that level of where the top top is. He's a top player. He's like, uh, Bloom said it best one time. Like, Kiro is an A player. He's like an A player. Like, like the grade letter, not A player, as in like a ninety percent <laughs> on your on your test player. When like the top top is like, you know, A plus or even S. So yeah, I agree with that. Um, that's gonna do it for today. Tomorrow will be 14 through 10? 5. 14 to 5. 5. 14 to 5. The last day is just 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Um, 
we'll probably have a lot to talk about when it's one, two, three, four, because you know that's obviously the biggest people. Mm -hmm. And uh, tomorrow will be pretty exciting too to see how it goes. I have a prediction. Oh yeah, the names are getting good. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna be mad on the last day when Alvin is put over Karaba. I'm gonna be so mad. No, no, I don't think it's gonna happen. That's my. Prediction. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I think here's my prediction for top four. It's gonna go Fukuru, Karaba, Alvin, Boom, and then uh, Juan Guerra. That's what I think at least. So I think it's gonna be. Fukuru, Alvin, Karaba, boom. But what I think it should be is Karaba over Alvin, and then Alvin over Boom. But Alvin and Boom are very close. I, yeah. I only give the nod to Alvin because he has the head to head. But Alvin has like really bad losses for somebody in his tier. Yeah, I would. That's love why him. I can't. That's why I put Alvin below Boom. Because yeah, I can see it either way. Losing to Josh and uh, and LD is something Boom just wouldn't do. I agree with that actually. When I said that's what I think will happen, what I want is Boom above Alvin, but people are, are accounting that head to head. And, I, that and like happen. Boom, yeah, Boom had one, he lost one set to Wizzy, but he beat him like six times. And uh, I think he beat him even more than that. Last year? Yeah, didn't he play him like nine times or something crazy? Uh, like, I didn't know if it was that much. They played that much. I don't know if they played that they much. Play, every time they're at a tournament, they usually like, play twice. So. Yeah, true. Um, but, uh, you know, Alvin has one win over Wizrobe and two losses. So to give you, like, my top four, what I had written down on my ballot, I had uh, Fukuro, Karaba, Boom, then Alvin. And then my number five was Wizrobe. No Wario in there? Uh, my, all right, so <laughs> my ballot went Fukuro, Karaba, Boom, Alvin, Wizzy, Kiyoshiki, Mariguas, Wangera, Dexter, Tacos, Isaiah. No Wario. That's fine. Honestly. Wario was number 13 for me. Oh, okay. Okay. Right above Prince. Alright, well, I'm sure we're going to see... We're going to also... Be, I'm sure Frey's going to come in here because I'm pretty sure Zero is going to make an appearance on this list. So. We'll and actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, Prince should be above Wario. Oh, well. No changing it now, Dark Horse. I had Prince above Wario. I really want to see oh, Boom oh, above oh, Alvin just for South America's reaction. Yes. But... Yeah, I can't wait to see Lorenzo's comments if that happens. <laughs> I want like, that to happen. It's so annoying because you're like, but oh, you, you just don't like us because we're not Americans. Like, first of all, Boom is not American. <laughs> <laughs> Second, Boom has better results. <laughs> Let's like, see. Alvin might get it. You know. He might. Alvin's yeah. definitely going to... I think I think Alvin's going to be number two. I really believe that. Number two? Yeah, I on my oh. ballot I put Karaba as number. If two. Alvin is number two on the that rankings, so it's because bad. people don't know what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. We'll, we'll see you guys see. later. Hey, uh, just before I cut out, who's all gonna be here? Robert, Blow, tomorrow? I'll be I'll be here tomorrow. I'm no, in Genesis. I'm, I'm in Genesis for the next week. Okay. Robert, you're gonna uh, be here. I, I should be it's worth it. I should be. I get out of class at 7:30, but I should be able to make it. All right, so tune in for me, Lo, Robert, and probably Frey, cause his boy's gonna be on here. So, oh man, look out for that. See ya.